Good evening everybody and welcome to in Ruth Blackett's Inspiration Wednesday. Sorry, that was a bit of a hiccup. So good good evening everybody. This is Ruth Blackett um crafting for friends um with my um live Wednesday inspiration. Um I'm sorry I haven't been around for a little while and still struggling a little bit now to get these this organised, but I really wanted to come on and say hello tonight and to share uh, an idea from the new current catalogue. So I'm just gonna wait while people join me. Please comment in the comments box so that I know you're there. Um, and I know it takes, I've, I've come back at eight o'clock tonight because I don't know about anybody else, but I'm a fan of the sewing bee because that's my other hobby. And um, I can't, <laughs> I didn't wanna be live at the same time as it was starting. Um, but it may be back to where half past eight if that suits people better next week. Um, um, if not, you can always catch up on, um, I keep it in the uh, files so you can catch up on it some of the time. It's always under the um, Inspiration Wednesday event. Um, so tonight we're going to be having a look, little look at the Inked and Tiled set, which is on page 95 of the new catalogue or can be found on the website if you look for Inked and Tiled. It comes as a, a bundle with papers, ribbon and the stamp set, but this one um, doesn't come with dies, it comes with punches, of which I've just forgotten where I put them. Um, two, two lovely punches that can be used on their own quite easily with other papers or or with this set um but we always like a, a, a nice punch and and there's one like a oh sorry let's just show you it's start where are we there we go start and one like across but they can mix together so that's um, i'll show you the page in a minute there's a couple of other things oh no my cat's just come to the window <laughs> go away smudge the cat's just popped in to say hello as well. Hi, Diana. Oh, she's going to be a nuisance, I think. Uh, anyway, I just want to tell you about a couple of things that are happening from tomorrow. Um, one of them is the designer series paper sale, which gives you 15% off quite a lot of the packs of the designer series paper. Um, and if you look on, I will put on my page... A link to to those and also if you wanted to join stamping up and weren't and were not a um, hobby demonstrator or a business demonstrator or affiliated to anybody else's group then um, from the 1st to the 30th of June you can get a starter kit with 154 pounds worth of products for 99 pound so that's a good deal 55 pounds extra with your bundle and you just do that on the um world wide web on the um uh, my shop page and that will tell you hi carol um that will tell you what to do so i'll put those two things on in a minute um thank you ladies for joining me so as i said we're going to go for the eat and tiled tonight so i'm just going to turn the camera around you can see my piece of paper that i was referring to just now that tells you the papers that are going to be in the in the um sale um a, a couple of my favorites are in there already and the, the starter kit as well so let's get this mouse out of the way so this is the inked and tiled which is um it's one that you can just um use one color to, to emphasize um it and I'm going to do this in black but on some inked backgrounds so we're going to do a little bit of um, color backgrounds tonight using the masks from the catalogue we're going to use this one specifically to start off with oh dear. sorry I'm just going to have to let the feline creature in the window Come on. she's in <laughs> uh, so that's got that sorted out so I was going to say, they, these are, I'm trying to think where these are. These are in the um, tools um, on this page, look, here in the catalogue. They're these ones here. There is another set there. I haven't got those yet, but I, I think they're coming towards me 
soon this one because I really do like these for backgrounds um, and if you can't afford the paper sometimes something like this is really handy and what I've done I've stuck a piece of 10 and a half by 15.8 piece of cardstock on a piece of paper and I've used some not a um, some re reusable tape and I'm going to do the same with my mask and what I've done is I've made sure that my um, card is too big for my project so then when I when I do it, it doesn't matter if I've got anything over the ends because in a little while I'm going to cut it down anyway so I am going to use the new lemon lolly the soft sea foam and the pretty peacock for this one and I'm going to start with the lemon lolly in the middle um, now I did I have done some of this already today some some of these so my brushes are, are quite dirty normally I would clean them up a little bit um, I've got the small I'm using the small brushes apart from I've got to use a big one for the soft sea foam because um, I haven't got a spare little one for green at the minute so literally I'm going to ink up get a little ink on my brush and then roll it off because this bit I want to go across the middle so this is just going to do this I'm not going to be covering the whole of this piece of um, card because I just want it as a I'll show you what I mean in a minute it's So I've done about two and then spread down a little bit more. Still got plenty of ink on this. So I'm not being pedantic and getting it all to the edges. Right. And now I'm going to go for my soft sea foam. I'm going to keep my yellow open because I may be coming back to that in a minute. Oh, I don't know why, but the can't seem to see the let's have a look if I can see this comments for some reason I can't see my camera and the comments at the same time let's have a quick let's have a little play there we go I've made myself smaller <laughs> so, so sorry we're going to get some I can't even remember soft sea soap foam soft sea soap. oh dear I haven't even got my teeth in so I've had a real s struggle um recently with being ex ex not picking it up on it oh, I think it's happening without actually oh yes I can see it's happening now I didn't want it right across did I um, and then I'm going to go a bit this side come on I think this one hasn't quite got so much ink on it as some of the others hi Julia how are you, darling? I haven't seen you for a while. Right, and then we're going for the pretty peacock. Now, the pretty peacock, I know that's really juicy because that's, um, I've, I'd forgotten I'd got one of these, so I've got a second pad and it's really inky. So that's going to be at the top and at the bottom. See what's happened in a minute and soft, soft see that one. I'm just gonna darken that in that middle bit. Ah, oh, that's better. Darken that. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we've got. Woo! There we go. So this is the sort of thing I want to you see where I've stuck it onto here so you get the white line on those, but those two white lines are coming off. But I didn't want it filling the whole card, but I think I've got it almost there, actually. I'm just going to shut these up. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. I know. Well, I haven't been on for three weeks, Julia. I've not been. I, I'm my own worst enemy. I do too much, and then it catches up with me. And then I have to fight the um, fatigue. So we're, we're trying to get going again. So I'm going to cut this down now to nine and a half 
by the now what should I decide? Nine and a half by thirteen point eight. That's it. So I'm going to take that little bit off the top. That's the bit I didn't want. And then I can measure it to thirteen point eight. I don't know whether you can see there, but I'm I'm going along in centimeters. It's thirteen point five six seven eight. Just over. It's just just before the nine. There we go. So cut that bit off. And then we're going nine and a half. So I think I might just stick it off for one end actually. There we go. A little I've covered a little bit more than I had intended to because I was going to leave a bit more white at each side it doesn't matter so now we're going to stamp on this and we're going to stamp on we're going to use the flower and the um, buds because I'm going to pop them on that flower as well and I'm going to use put them on my block and I'm going to use stays on so this is the um, solvent ink pad um, the jet black and with this when when it comes to clean it you really do need to use your stays on cleaner um, and that will help to remove the the really deep color you get and even so you still sometimes get a little bit of black discoloration but this is absolutely brilliant for um, giving you your your black impression when you want it to be really dark and so I'm going to use the stays on and ink up my stamp you can see how black it goes uh, this is a juicy pad it's um, been re-inked recently and then this is going to go across my uh, inked background so this is going to go uh, now I, do I, want, I want it to go upright a bit because that's it Give it a good old press. There we go. So we've got our impression there. And then I'm going to do the same with the little. Um, you can either have them as individual flowers, or I'm going to do my best to join them on to the stem here. There we go. So it gives us a little bit darker. Oh, and I still want that because I'm going to put um, some words on my card as well. Because this is just going to be a one layer card. Well, one layer as in this bit. And then I'm going to just mount it on a piece of background card to pop on my card. And I found the thinking of you from the Go To Greetings. One of my favourite, favourite greetings set. Because it's just got so many sizes of the greetings I use the most. And I'm going to pop this across the bottom here. And just try and make sure that the stem is in the middle of it all. There we go. Thinking of you. So my thinking of you is there. Then I'm going to mount this onto a piece of black card. I've just got to cut that down because I did it to nine. I just remembered. So we're going a little bit smaller. Nine. Good evening. <laughs> so I go down to nine. There we go. Nine by. 14.4 13.4 not 14.4 that's right I knew I'd done something because this one's the nine and a half but that's it because what I wanted because I'd done it in the black silhouette I wanted to to actually pop it onto the black if you look at it on the white and then see what it does when it goes on the black how it pops pops the black out and then literally you'd stick that and then stick that on your card. Now I'm going to, for this one, I'm going to use Lost Lagoon. Um, thought that would go together. So let's just have a little go at sticking that together really quick. These are, are quite quick to, once you've got your colours sorted and what you want to do, these are fairly quick ones to make up. Good for people who are just starting to stamp, especially if you only did the flower itself and then gave them a piece of card to s stamp a sentiment on and put on it separately but beginners really like to have something that's quite effective um, and even 
even us who've been doing it for how many years donkeys 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 years like to have something that's nice and quick to make sometimes without it being too convoluted so there we go one card and then i'd put a white piece of white in the middle and um, then that would be left blank for a, cent uh, a little message in it so that was my first first one and i thought i'd do another one but we do it in some different colors so I thought we'd, and we would use the different frames so i'm going to use the square um the squares one this time and i'm going to get my trusty piece of paper back and i did cut another piece of card ready to use so half a, a quarter of an a4 sheet so let's get back our pieces of tape because we don't want to waste them they're reusable pieces of tape and if i just on the very edge so that they're the bits that i can cut off when i have done it in a minute i must have had more than that um now I've done that square, so that sh if I did that square to that, it should then be okay. Let me just pop this one down. It's a beautiful stamp set. Yeah, it is a really lovely stamp set. Um, don't know whether anybody else has used it as yet. Um, so this time I'm going to be try and be really careful and have more white on the background rather than it all coloured. Um, I'll clean those off in a minute because I don't want to clean the ink off until I've finished the colouring. And now where's my colour? So I'm, I'm going to go for Moody Mo Bubble Bath. And what would I decide to put in with the wa? Um... Let's see. I'll, I'll see how the, what the mood, fan, what I fancy in a minute. Um, let's just get that. All right. So it's a moody mauve. That's the moody mauve one, the darker one. Yeah. So again, bit of ink onto your brush. Make sure you get because when sometimes when you first put it on, you get these blotches. So just make sure that's that's um, free of that. I'm just going to put the card. I'm going to copy. And then let's see where's if I want to go. So I'm going to come down here this time. Go across, and I'm sort of doing this a, a sort of diagonally. But again, you know, this is one of those things that you can play with and get different effects with your colours, um, depending on what colours you've got and what takes your fancy at the time. And get some. The bait of the bubble bath, they call this one. Looks very... Just looking at it as it goes on, it looks quite similar, but I can see it's a bit lighter. I may, I may change my mind of what I'm going to put in the middle of that in a minute. I don't want to take it off, because if I take it off, then I'll have mucked it up. Um... I may, what might I do, might I do, I may put the yellow in this, let's, let's, let's put the yellow in the middle, a tiny bit, where I've done the, where I've done the splits, <laughs> done the splits, I haven't done the splits, <laughs> oh blimey, <laughs> I've never been able to do the splits, let alone now. Let's go back to the pink. And then I'm just going to overlap that bit. There we go. So it's sort of slightly orangey, I think. Oh, woo, that's pretty. That's a pretty one. Um, yeah, it's got, where I've put the yellow over it, it's got um, sort of a pale um, orange, which is um, a bit like sun, sunset, sunrise. So... As I did with the other one, I am going to cut this down, but this time I'm going to cut it to 9 by 14.8. Right, let's get this, because this looks slightly wonky, so let's get that straight. I'm going to pop my, um, I'm going to put it on my, what's this called, trimmer. I'm just going to make, where is its 
slightly skew if I want it a little bit straighter so I'm just gonna use the line the lines of so you can see that I've cut off a, a odd angle but if we follow this we should be able to so I want it nine don't I nine yep and then I uh, want it if it's nine it's one and a half centi 1.5 centimeters smaller so that's one 13.45 okay. I've done it again I've covered it over haven't I because I've forgotten about leaving the room lost my bin now the bin's moved but there we go that's the um second one and I thought we'd do there's um this this leaf and also where's it gone let's get the block that might be handy pop the leaf on the block and there's also this squiggly thing I don't know whether to put that on it or not what do you think squiggly thing or not I don't know I think that might be a bit I think I might do the leaf and then there's this um I didn't want to do the flower because I thought the I might do the leaf with this squiggly thing a um, little I don't know what you call that little like it, it looks like a firework to me um right let's flatten this down and let's have a little look at this so we're going to use our stays on the jet black again and have a little look at that so we're going to ink the leaf up this time i just want you to try one of the other stamps out i haven't even done this yet this is on the hoof so to speak um where should we pop that there we go looks very effective doesn't it the on the um and one of the one of the stamps in the set is called just a note and I always think that's quite a nice one to to send somebody so I'm going to ink ink that up and probably just pop that yeah just a note do you see that oh I don't know whether it's clear enough just a note oh you know what i'm thinking do you think it will fit in this yes we could do a um just thinking if i did this in white punch one of these in white and then cut it cut it off Let's, let's, let's annihilate it cut that off that off look we've got a little pointy thing and then I'm going to do this just a note again because of the lines on the there we go Does that... some of the shadows coming in here now there we go that's oh i like that better and in fact i might be tempted i don't know where i put my other black piece now oh, there Look, see it pop pop again and then i'm wondering whether we put oh do we do we use those Ooh. <laughs> there we go we pop that on there on a couple of dimensionals that will pop that up you'll be able to see it to say there's never it's just when you look at that there it's just you can't see it in the um no it's so much but look 
I'm going to pop that there. Because in exactly the same place, but look, you can see it now. Oh, I quite like those, um, I don't know what to call them. What, what do you call these bits that, they look a bit like, um, fireworks. I know they're not, but that would, just a note. Yeah. So that's my second one. And that's, that's where we're going to call a halt. Because if that was, you don't need to see me make hundreds of the same to know and then another one that you can but this one I think I'll probably do on a white card my box of white bases ones I made earlier so to speak and then I have to work out which one's a portrait and which one's a landscape because it makes both Sorry, Anne, you, you, you'd have to put a different colour behind. <laughs> I know you don't like the black so much, but that would, um, that actually would be quite effective for a, um, any sort of card, really. And you could mix and match your colours. But just shows how versatile those masks are as well, just to give a bit of a colouring background. No, you know, you've made your own DSP for that. You've done one layer of stamping and we've just done that because of the fact that we've made a mistake. Or, no, she made a happy error. <laughs> There's no such things as mistakes. In and with the stays on pad, you always need to put this. Um, oh, it does. The seeds from a dandelion, dandelion clock. Yeah, the flower. There's the, the flower there. Um, and that looks quite pretty as well, but I haven't quite... Gonna... So those are the, the two cards. This was one I made earlier using Think of That, and that's when I'd left more of the um, colour black at, blank at the top. I quite like the yellow and pink and orange. So some ideas there. We're using some of the new colours, using one of the new stamp sets. We've even used the punch to prove that we can put. So lots of love, just a note. We'll both fit on that, actually. I don't think they are, Julia, because it doesn't, it doesn't, it may fit in the flower, but the flower's already got that in it. Let me stamp the flower. Let's see. Uh, oh, where's that? Here's my bit of card I've had. No, I want that one. I don't want that one. So I'm just, I've got everything on the desk in front of me. Let's stamp that flower in the Moody Mauve. Yeah. And well, let's use this because I've got the black on this. No, it oh, it's not even them on there anymore. I don't think it is the stamen. Because you can't really see it. I think it's um, more of a oh, decor type thing. I would use it more for um, filling, in, filling in the gap, you know, um, the gaps or a different colour on a back background. So if you've got, you know, put some yellow back in or something. So I'm, I'm the prize winner for last week's challenge because I was the only one who took part. So I've, I've won myself a stamping cut embossing folder that I was going to. Yeah, infill, that's what the word, that's what I was going to give. So um, I'm delighted to say I won that. <laughs> I will show you, last week I gave you the challenge of the um, sketch, sketch challenge. And that was 
this is the one I put online using oh I love this set as well crafting crafting with you um look you've got the little die cutter machine you've got the ruler the scissors the scissors are brilliant because you can cut them out in silver and then put something on the top and then you've got the buttons <laughs> thanks thanks <Diana. laughs> and then I had another little go and, and I did a bigger circle this time and I just used the um one that's online the irresistible blooms uh, just you know sketches are a great way to get your ideas of um putting cards together and I've, all, I've punched some of these things out to show you this as well um so this is the the two shapes but i was sort of half oh I lost, lost the computer oh oh i've lost everything went black <laughs> i think you're still there i'm still there it says i'm still there and i was thinking you could probably juggle this around and make flowers or something or do something with it and then one of the papers in one of the sets is like this and the um both the punches can be used on this so it with the the one with the flower is that one so that can and then for the pinky bit the other bit just use One. so you can you um cut them out and use them to make make some ideas so i might be playing with that lot to see what i can make out of that anyway thank you so much for joining me this evening I'm just coming back Ooh, there i am <laughs> you can see me but i can't see you because the camera is dead straight in front of me <laughs> anyway I hope you're all well. Um, I'm feeling a bit brighter for just doing that this evening. Um, it's ama amazing what a bit of crafting therapy does, isn't it? When when you're feeling a bit. Ugh. So thank you for joining me, and please share any of your makes with me on on the page. It's really nice to see other people's ideas, whether it's using this the sketch or whatever. Um, and I'll see you soon. Um, I'm still working out whether I'm going to do this alternate weeks or every week, but I'll let you know by posting online. OK, take care, everybody. God bless. Bye.